Hey everyone, we have some great news. Uh, well, potential news anyways for this month, the month of August. There are some things that I expect to happen this month, including an indie world, and we'll get into why I expect that soon. But we have a fresh batch of rumors for you, as long with a leak. So this is like a combo pack here, and the leak is pretty legit. Uh, the rumors obviously are what they are, uh, but before we get into any of that, I gotta remind you, we are giving away a Switch OLED system. All you have to do is be subscribed to enter to win. That's it. Just be subscribed. There's no special... Um, entry forums or anything like that just be subscribed and we will announce the winner of that switch oled system in early october all right so first let's get into the batch of rumors and then we'll get into the leak so if you're looking for the legit information i'll try to put some timestamps here for what the rumors are versus what the leak is but these rumors again come from samus hunter uh, on Twitter, we talked about her several times in the past. Obviously, at this point, we, we well know that she gets a lot of stuff correct. She also gets some stuff wrong. It is what it is. Here is what she is saying about this month. And she says, usually August is a quiet month. But for Switch owners, although there will be no first party release, because there isn't this month, there will be a lot of good news, including presentations and new trailers of upcoming titles and updates for those already released. It will be a great month waiting for September. Remember, she did say that we're getting a Nintendo Direct in September. Um, already this week, we have received new content. We have for Pokemon Snap and Tetris 99, which we did. Tetris 99 had a Skyward Sword thing. Uh, Pokemon Snap had its new content, which I haven't tried out yet, but people are telling me the new Pokemon Snap content is mwah, legit. So that's really cool. That's stuff that's already happened, though. Um, soon we will receive new information with Metroid Dread reports. I don't know if we're talking about previews. I don't know if we're talking about just new trailers. Uh, and there's also going to be Nintendo's financial results, which we know come this week. I believe they arrive on Wednesday or tonight or tomorrow, something like that. It's really soon. Axiom Verge 2 has received an update on the eShop, waiting for the next Indie World. Okay. Uh, in a few days, we will see a new overview trailer for WarioWare. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise Update 3.3 is scheduled to arrive around the 26th of this month, but it's not going to have any major new content. Um, obviously, WarriorWare, you know, they got to start hyping that up here eventually. Uh, there's also going to be a Mario Golf update planned, which will not only add the new Donk City course, which is a course that we had um, you know, speculated on being around a while ago, but also new content and game options. The team is also working on a new character and game modes alongside smaller course arena for the battle mode. So it would be interesting to see if they can finally make Mario Golf worth the money. They can't fix the single player at this point, but if they can add online leaderboards and different uh, you know, competitive modes and stuff like that, that would be wonderful. Um, so here's some other stuff that she mentions here. Before the end of the month, uh, it'll be possible to pre-order the next Pokemon games, which, again, it's kind of weird we haven't been able to do that yet. Uh, which usually happen with the release of new trailers. So she expects new trailers to coincide with being able to pre-order the games. Um, and don't forget, obviously, we have the release of No More Heroes 3 this month. That's the big uh, Switch game for this month. Third party. P.S. The Mario render that she threw up there is not a teaser. It's actually an old Mario render that Nintendo's used before, so I, I never really viewed it as a teaser. But for people who don't follow Nintendo's official channels, maybe they aren't aware. That being said, I find all of this to be really, really good. And the, the one thing I wanted to focus on here, um, because this is the batch of rumors, and here's where we get into the leak, is Axiom Verge 2. Um, there was a yeah, an update to the eShop, and she did briefly touch upon this, but there's an update to the eShop uh, that has leaked out there that shows that Axiom Verge 2 uh, was updated on the eShop. Well, Axiom Verge 2 hasn't released yet. We haven't heard anything about this game in quite some time, and obviously it's a much-anticipated sequel to the original Axiom Verge, which was a Metrovania-style game, um, and it was very well-received and sold, I think, multiple millions of copies over the all of the platforms that it was on. So uh, this is a big-deal indie game. And the fact that it has an update does kind of hint towards that indie world. Now, Nintendo usually does indie worlds um, around August. Not always in August, but usually around the August time period do we get an indie world. We haven't had an indie world presentation in quite some time. Uh, and there's obviously going to be a bevy of indie games still coming this year that are going to want to be highlighted uh, by stuff like this. So 
I'm really looking forward to a potential indie world this month. I expect it to be here within a couple of weeks, if we get it at all. We might not. Axiom Virtue could literally just get its own trailer, its own release, and, and, and be independent of an indie world. Uh, or it could be saved to be talked about in a future Nintendo Direct. I have no idea, because sometimes they do talk about indie games in Nintendo Directs. Uh, and obviously with No More Heroes 3 coming out, I fully expect that the... Um, the hype cycle to get ramped up for that. There was a new trailer recently for that as well. So, yeah, things are getting um, the ball rolling here for August. It's kind of interesting because this month is getting really, really busy with news in a month that doesn't have any major Nintendo release. Like, there's not, like, a big Nintendo game coming this month. And yet, it seems like, uh, at least according to Samus Hunter, and even so far this month, uh, that we're just going to have a lot of good news, and we're not just talking rumors and reports, like actual news. Uh, so, yeah, obviously this week, right now, we're waiting on the financial results. You guys know I'll be making a video covering that, going over the positive and negative from it, and if there's any outlier questions in the Q&A that deserve to be talked about, you know we will talk about that as well. Uh, there are sometimes reveals of stuff at this. You know, I expect, as an example, uh, Nintendo to confirm they are working on that Donkey Kong um, you know, expansion at Universal, which already looks like we can confirm is under construction right now, but hasn't been announced. Uh, so I, I, I'm presuming, you know, that's going to be talked about at this investor meeting, along with many other things. Obviously, we'll finally get the performance updates and sales updates for different games, uh, game sales that we were waiting for. I actually, even though Skyward Sword falls outside of the three months that this financial uh, briefing is going to cover, I do expect Skyward Sword sales to be talked about here because they like to also talk about not just what happened before, but what's happening currently. So we'll get to see probably how well that game is doing. And obviously an update to Switch sales. Did it hit 90 million? Did it pull off 5 million plus in the first quarter like it did last year? Now last year they had Animal Crossing New Horizons pushing sales. So that was obviously a big thing um, for Nintendo at that time. Uh, that might not be such a big deal now but again that's all stuff that we can look forward to later this week i have another video planned for you guys later today more of a discussion video uh, i haven't done a lot of discussion videos lately it's been a lot of news stuff which is fine i love talking about the news here at nintendo prime uh, but i want to get into some discussion videos as well some of my opinions on various upcoming games uh in fact i'm gonna put a um a, a question to you guys uh, that you can answer down in the comments, and the one I see uh, comment to the most will be the one that I do a video on. Do you guys want to see me uh, do a video talking about uh, some thoughts I have on Metroid Dread? Again, that's a big upcoming release. Or would you like to see me do a video on why I think that Nintendo's 2022 lineup is going to be the greatest lineup uh, for Nintendo Switch to date? Uh, those are the two topics I'm juggling today on which one I'm going to make a video on. So why don't you go comment down below uh, which one you would like to see me do. That being said, I am Nathaniel Rumpel Jantz from Nintendo Prime. I feel invigorated today. I feel justified today. I feel great. And because I feel so great, you're getting a couple of videos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video.